Welcome to another Blood Angels tutorial. Uh, this one here we're going to look at Lamartes, uh, Guardian of the Lost. This is another one of the special characters for Blood Angels in Warhammer 40k. So um, this one here actually I'm really happy with how it turned out. I followed some of the GW Masterclass uh, articles and I they used to be all available on the website and unfortunately now they're not, which I kind of miss. But I think uh, some of this might be available in that new Heavy Metal book that they just released. Uh, in particular, some of the things I really like how they turned out is this guy's face and some of the bones on there, and ag again, that was using their techniques, and uh, the, the black armor. I'm pretty happy with how that turned out, and then the, the red contrasting. But uh, sort of the black armor and the bone, I think, is the, the things that really panned out well in this. So first off, I started out with a black base coat, nothing special to see here. Um, although... What you may not notice is there's actually a slight uh, gray there. So I started up with a pure black and then I'm, I'm highlighting out grays. And I'm using Reaper paints for this. They have a bunch of gray triads that uh, work out nicely. And so this is um, what, what's going to end up happening. I'm going to highlight this kind of beyond where I want it. And uh, then I'm going to draw it back. So what you saw there uh, is kind of this some of these grays in here you can see that and now I'm just doing some edge highlights with a, a much lighter gray and it's kind of an overemphasis on the gray as you can see here but what I can do is I'm going to pull that back with a, a bit of a wash okay so uh, now I'm doing some of the other base coats so uh, Kemri Brown on the, the, metal, uh, the skull bits, uh, Denim Stone on the scrolls uh, Mechorite Red on all the red bits and uh, it looks like the scab red there that's about it. Scab red on all these uh, purity seals as well. Okay, and uh, what else? Oh, some more grays in these these tubing things here. And, oh, and that's uh, that's my brown. Uh, sorry, that's a uh, scorched brown mixed with dwarf bronze there, and I got some uh, bolt gun metal and some of the other metal bits. Okay, so I've basically got all my base colors on here and uh, with a little bit of highlighting on the black and I'm ready to move on to the next phases. Unfortunately with this model it's very top heavy and especially when he's on kind of a pedestal there. Um, this is a metal one, uh, I painted this a while back, um, but uh, I don't think it's available in fine cast either so this would be a probably good candidate for that. So what we have on the, the uh, the bone is a mixture of the uh, the Leviathan purple, the purple wash, and the and Bata black. So uh, probably not something I w probably something I wouldn't have thought of on my own, but uh, GW had that for some of the Legion of the Damned models that they they painted up, and uh, that's kind of where I got the inspiration for the the skeletal look on this guy. So you see a bit of the purple in there and a uh, bit of a bow red wash on some of these other scrolls and that'll help bring out some other colors um, here we are highlighting up some of the the red so that's ble uh, blood red and be a little bit of uh, orange mixed in there just to get some of the edge highlights and highlighting up the, the gold with the uh, uh, shining gold and you'll see I'm going to edge highlight a little bit of that with uh, mithril silver so just trying to work up the different areas, uh, some blood red as well on these uh, purity seals and highlighting up my scrolls all the way up to the edge highlights of white. So now what I'm doing here is I'm building up these uh, the bone colors and so that's going to be a mix of some snake bite leather and some bleach bone all the way up through to white and uh, some Camry brown invariably in that mix as well. So um, the key here is just trying to blend things through, get the, the variation, and then just the edges are going to be white. And I, I think I spent a lot of time on that just because I knew that would be the focal point of this model was that skull. And it, depending on the pictures, some of the, the whites kind of get blown out with these photos. But uh, you can see there kind of how it transitions back. You can see some of those color variations, the, the purples kind of coming out. It's very subtle. Um, but that's what you get with the washes and then when you highlight on top of it. Okay, so highlighting up some of that silver bits there and uh, getting close to being done. And you can see the gemstones I'm doing, so that's just uh, 
scab red base, a little bit of black probably uh, to bring it down, and then highlighting up to reds at the bottom, little white dot to simulate light reflection. Uh, then for his eyes there, you can see um, I've got some turquoise in there with a reflection. Uh, again, I really like how that turned out. Uh, that's just one of the the uh, sea foam triads from Reaper. They have some nice turquoisey triads, makes it easier to do those things. And the the white dot really kind of adds a bit, of, almost like a pupil, but it's it's really just a ref, meant to be a reflection. And again, I've got some writing on here with uh, with the uh, scorched brown, and that black. Um, I'm not sure exactly what stage I did it at, but I did wash that with a, a, pro, a I, I think it was bad at black, but it might have been a bit of a bit of chaos black or reaper pure black mixed in there. Reaper pure black. Um, the benefit with that one is it's actually a flat black, whereas uh, GW uh, chaos black is not flat. It's more of a satin or an eggshell kind of a finish. It's not. Uh, it's not a flat color. Um, in here, I, I use a bit more purples and I'm mixing in whites for the highlight, so it's a bit of a different red color, more of a purpley red, and uh, just about a pure white on these wings here, and some some of those mixtures up the the highlights on there, a bit more of a pinky red than a true um, orangey red that I I like, and I've done that's more of an orangey red. This is more of a pink red. There's another look at those eyes. So uh, again, just the, the the typical way of doing the gems, uh, kind of highlighting out to the edge and the white dot at the top, to re and you're trying to match up all of your white dots. And there's a nice clear picture, and uh, yeah, I'm really happy with the the kind of the, well, it's a great model to start with. That that helps a lot. Lots of uh, kind of emotion in the face, even though it's a mask, and. Uh, it's about as as if he's about to swing that. So it's great model, fun to paint, a little bit top heavy, um, especially when it's metal. But uh, yeah, fun to have on the tabletop too. Even if you just use him as a regular chaplain. I think that's about it. I um, I really enjoy doing that black in that manner. Uh, it's a bit time consuming, so I didn't do my death company that way, but uh, if I had time to go back and do them, I'd probably do a little bit like that. Hope you enjoyed the tutorial. Check out my blog, and see you next time.